Hey, you're in the garden with Patrick, and I wanted to give you a little fig update on the different figs that we had uh, originally took from some cuttings. I'm going to put uh, a link at the end of this video uh, to the original video where we took these cuttings and we propagated them to become uh, some different fig trees. Um, and Maribel uh, was so gracious to allow us to uh, go ahead and take some of her uh, fig cuttings. So I wanted to give you a quick update on how those are going. And as you can see, we're doing pretty well. Um, so for the most part, it was a success. Again, you're never going to get 100% on your um, propagation of your fig trees. But again, this gives you just an idea. Now, it's in the fall right now. So we're going to take care of these plants, um, these fig cuttings through the winter. And then we'll be able to uh, either um, take those and put those in the ground or we can put them in some pots uh, in the spring and they'll be ready to go. And actually what's very interesting is we have even some figs. I'm going to show you a close up here of some figs that are already growing on one of these cuttings. So that's how uh, strong these um, cuttings have done. And if you again watch that video, if you want to subscribe to the channel, uh, you'll see more of these types of videos and pro progression of what we're doing uh, throughout the year. Uh, but this specifically, the video that I did on the fig propagation and cuttings uh, was pretty, uh, pretty successful. So as you see here, I have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine different um, uh, fig cuttings that we took and pretty much only two did not take out of this whole entire um, uh, propagation. And this one actually did, uh, you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but I have, there. it did have some um, leaves that did develop, but I think what happened on this uh, particular one is that I, th I don't think, I think the water just kind of uh, evaporated on it. I don't see any, um, any little um, kind of growth from any of the roots on that one. And then this one, it did start a little bit, but again, it just kind of died out. And I think it's the same thing on this particular one. Um, let's see if there's anything in regards. Ah, it does have, this one does have a little bit of root development. Um, I'm gonna show you here a close up of that. And you'll see that it did develop. And again, I think this one, the same thing. I think it just, we just had a little bit of water issue uh, with that. But the rest of them, as you can see, uh, are developing. Uh, remember, these were just sticks when we, um, when we propagated them. We cut them off of the main um, tree. And you're going to look at the nodes here. Uh, you want to have at least uh, four nodes. And then that's where you can see here where the fig tree will also start to uh, have its little shoots. And this one here again is really good. So I'm gonna show you some close-ups of some of these uh, trees here. And again, this is probably the best one that's done really, really well. And I'm gonna show you some close-ups on, on all of these. Um, but uh, you, you can do this at home. It's actually very, very simple. And what I did is I used a mixture of vermiculite and perlite as my median, my base. And I did a two cup method. And again, got some really nice, I wanna show you here, some really nice um, growth. So this is the larger cutting that we took. And you can see this is really, really coming along nice. It's got some growth at the top here, even still moving along. I ran out of uh, the, the plastic cups and the solo cups. So I use a jar again, just you can see here the amount of roots that have developed. That's why I like these clear uh, containers because you can really see the root development versus something like this. I really don't know what's going on, but I do know that definitely it is doing really well because again, you can see here, it actually has two little figs that are growing on there. Now, do we want to keep these figs? No, because what we want to do is, especially this early um, in the season here, we want the growth 
to be more specific to the root development. So we don't want the plant to be putting in any energy into the fruit. So we're going to, as much as it pains me, we're going to pull this off. Okay. So that will be a fig that we could have eaten someday. Um, so this one here, again, you can see nothing. This is the one that uh, showed you there's no root grow, uh, development at all. This one here, you can see it's a very nicely uh, developed plant. Um, and we're going to pull that here. And you can see, again, all of the nice root development. And this is something that is going to you know, do really well over the course when we transplant that. Uh, same thing with this one, it's a little smaller cutting and you can see here that it does have a lot of root growth in there too. So this is going to be very good for when we're ready to transplant. Same thing here, we have one of these here and we'll look at that again, look at all the root development. So this is just a mixture of perlite and vermiculite that I used. This one is doing really well, but as you can see, there's not as much root development that at least on the sides here of the cup. And then this is the one that didn't make it, as you can see, okay? But you did, there are some roots that did come out here. And like I said, I think this was just um, my error where I did not uh, use enough water and it just kind of dried out. I might have went off out of the weekend or something and wasn't able to um, take care of it well enough. So that's what happened with that one. But definitely a good success rate with our development of root cuttings from fig trees. And we're going to go ahead and pot those, pot those up. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that with one and we'll do the rest of them and then you'll uh, get an idea on how you can develop your own plant fig tree from cuttings. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this fig cutting, this propagated uh, cutting that we did um, several months ago, and we're going to take this out of this cup and we're going to transplant it into a larger vessel. Um, now, a couple of things that you can do with your potting mix. One thing, you know, how you, if you see a lot of times there's all, all these holes all the time on the bottom. How do you allow that dirt not to come through? This is a really cool thing that you could do is just take a sponge, just take an old sponge and all you just do is just put that on the bottom. That allows the water to still seep in and hold, but it doesn't allow that uh, soil to drain out also. So that's one thing that you can do. And then all you're just gonna basically do is you're gonna take your soil and you're gonna put your potting soil in here. And once you put your potting soil in, then we're going to take a look at this as I chose this cutting because I wasn't sure what the uh, root structure looked like. So, uh, and really there's no reason for you not to be able to um, uh, put a lot of that, this vermiculite um, and the perlite in here too. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this out, put that in here and let's see. Wow. Okay. I'm going to show you here just a second. What, look at, look at the, all of this roots. Can you see that? Bring it a little closer to you. So this particular one, and remember this is the one that we have our, um, our fruit that we, we're gonna pick the other one. But look at the structure, look at the root structure on this particular cutting. It's pretty amazing. So this has been really a prolific um, growth of the um, root structure. So this, this is definitely going to do very well when we plant. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this, put the um, rest of the potting soil in there, and then we'll show you the uh, final, final uh, version of this beautiful little fig tree. All right. So we've taken our propagated fig tree leaf, or really a stick, made this into a viable tree that we're going to be planting next year in the spring. So stay tuned um, 
And if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see some updates that we'll be doing uh, with this specific tree. And uh, if you're interested in propagating your uh, own fig tree or other fruit trees, you can do that for sure. Uh, go ahead and um, put a comment below on if what you would like to do or like something you might want to see. And again, if you subscribe, uh, we'll hit that bell button uh, and that like button. You'll also uh, get updates uh, on when I do all kinds of uh, updates on not only this fig tree, but also some of the other things that might be interesting for you in the garden with Patrick. So until next time, happy gardening.